Welcome back to the show. I'm John Pollock, and this week on Fight Network, we have tons of UFC 178 coverage coming your way with the weigh-ins airing live on the network at 7 p.m. Eastern this Friday night. And then once the card is over, be sure to tune in at 1 a.m. Eastern as we will present the UFC 178 post-fight press conference and no doubt lots of news to come out of that show. But now it's time for the shift as we send things over to Priscilla Carapan. Mr. Robin Black isn't afraid to ask the tough questions around here. So naturally, we send him out into an unfamiliar world where body paint, spandex, and fishnets are the norm. Come to think of it, he's probably a little bit more familiar than he's leading on. Let's watch Robin venture into the world of cosplay. Robin Black here for The Shift. I'm here at Toronto Fan Expo. I just gotta ask, cosplay, like what's the deal? Like, are these people dressed up because they want attention? They want to feel a part of something? They want to entertain other people? Or are they just geeks? We got to find out. I'm doing a little bit of research to try to figure out sort of a little bit about the culture of cosplay. What can you tell me? Um, cosplay, so it's a combination of two words, costume and play. Cosplay is for sure a community. I mean, you see that as soon as you get involved, people come up to you and, and it's a lot easier to make friends that way because it is a big kind of brotherhood and sisterhood. It's a lot of fun to step outside of your own skin, sometimes quite literally. Um, it's one of those really fun experiences where you can kind of share your passion without having to creepily walk up to people and be like, hey, do you like this? Do you like this? If people recognize you, chances are they know the fandom and you can instantly strike up a conversation. So. I'd say the social aspect is primarily what draws us in. Everybody's having a really good time and uh, you got a whole bunch of like-minded people hanging out together, like nerding out over the stuff that they love. It's pretty much like uh, when I go to fight stuff, so only way nerdier. And with more girls, to be honest. Tell me the truth here, are like oh, weird nerds just hitting on you all day long? Oh yes. Yeah. I don't mind. No, you don't mind? No, not at all. I used to play in a band, so I've been with lots of rock chicks before. Well, I am impressed, but I don't think you've ever been with a rock chick quite like this. Now, are you your own character, it, it, uh, or are you an interpretation of something else? So I am Harley Quinn from um, the DC Batman comics, but I did kind of my own version of it. So I took the classic Harley Quinn um, bodysuit and I kind of chopped the legs off so we could have a little booty. Oh yeah, that's your <laughs> that's her bum. Dude, did you know you have a gun in your underpants? I am aware. It's, if the drug deal goes wrong, I have to have the gun. So, you do your drug deals in your underpants? Well, yeah, otherwise my pants will smell. Now, that's your brother, but you hate this dude, right? Hate this dude. And why, why is he such a dick? You ask him, I don't know why he's such a dick. Are you dressed in a costume, or are you just getting hammered right now? This is just a costume. This thing, these are just Coca-Cola cans. How about a hug? You guys hug? Just one. Please. Lo yeah, pat on the back. See, there's love in this place. I saw the movie, you were a total dick in it. I'm scared to talk to her. I'm frightened. I don't, I don't wanna. I, I don't want to go over. You hang out with three hot babes all day. That's your gig. Yeah, it's glorious. And you're a scientist and you can stretch your penis into really long shapes. Yeah, yeah, it's been known to have. Killing it. She might like cast a spell on me or something. I'm not, I'm not down. Like at all. What if we put some of your blue meth into your coke? That, that... Well, you don't mix meth with coke. Then you'll, oh, you, you just don't understand how drugs work. He's right, I don't. Thank you. I'm just observing, but I think Robin has a new appreciation for Harley Quinn. That's it for The Shift this week. Back over to you, John. Thank you, Priscilla, and it's time to thank you, the audience at home, and the best way to do so is by presenting our weekly viral video. Here's the best we could do over the past seven days. We hope you enjoy. Ah, 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 ah,
불! 아, 이 불! 이불 까갈까? 아! 아! And the Oscar goes to. And that will end the show. Thank you, as always, for tuning in. And to all of our guests, Dominic Cruz, Ken Shamrock, Mitch Gagnon, and Go Ken Saki. Be sure to catch the UFC 178 weigh-ins this Friday at 7 Eastern and post-fight presser Saturday night at 1 a.m. right after the fights. I'll be back on Thursday with the MMA Report at FightNetwork.com with Patrick Cote. And on behalf of John Ramdy and Robin Black, Priscilla Carapen, and the Fight Network crew, my name is John Pollock. Thanks for watching another edition of Fight News Now.